So today I thought we'd do an actual favorite review on the Planet of the Daleks sound effects Dalek from the Wave 1. And before we get into this, I'd just like to add um, my Doctor action figure playlist. It was getting a bit jumbled up. It, I wasn't happy with it. It had some reviews in twice. And so that, I deleted that playlist and now I have a classic Doctor Who one. And all the videos that are in there are all the reviews I'm happy with. And anything that isn't in there is ones that need re-reviewing because I feel like it's not my best. So, stuff will get removed from there over time as well, if I feel like I can do better, or if I find out new information, or stuff like that. So yeah, so all the ones in there are the ones that that's the final review for, everything else will be reviewed again. And I'd like to try and, you know, get every, uh, all my classic stuff reviewed by Christmas, so then, you know, I can be on top of my classic stuff and do more um, other themed videos, because you guys seem to enjoy them. So today we're doing Planet of the Daleks, Dalek. So this is obviously a sound effects one. Now the sound effects on these Daleks weren't perfect, but before we get into that, obviously we have to do articulation. Now with the, with the Dalek, it's very basic. The head can obviously do a full 360 degree tear. The eye stalk can move up and down. We have a ball jointed plunger and gun. And then we have three wheels, one of course can spin around. And that is obviously a lot for any Dalek. Now these Daleks from Planet, it's very hard to sort of say what a, a perfect one is. Now, there's going to be a few reasons why this is definitely not a Day of the Daleks Dalek. First of all, it has a grey plunger. Now, the plungers in Day of the Daleks are silver. But the problem I have with this figure is that it's hard to find images with Dalek from Planet of the Daleks with grey ones. Now, this is much likely because uh, there was quite a lot of uh, goon Daleks, which were ones that couldn't move, but just stood in the background. Uh, but the actual working ones were much like the ones from Day, which is why they had the silver plungers. But it's hard to find images where it can't, I can't tell whether it's a shadow that's made it look grey or it is actually grey on, it, you know, in real life. So I think I'd maybe just show you one. Like, for example, here, if we zoom in, is that grey or is that silver with a shadow? That's, that's the question, really. So... I mean, it's up to you, I guess, whether you'd class that as grey. Um, so it's whether this is accurate or not, because that's why I think we've painted it grey. Uh, so it's up to you uh, what you want to decide, if you actually care about stuff like that, uh, little de details. I myself do, because, you know, I'm sad. But it's up to you at the end of the day. Uh, I, myself, think there maybe was a grey one, and I think maybe the Goon Daleks had grey ones, because I think at the end of the day, they would have most likely wanted to go into the detail for something that's going to stand there, to just paint to paint the... Uh, that silver, I think they would have gone with grey, and some of them were silver maybe because they wanted uniformity, but, you know, I don't know, I wasn't there on the film in Planet of the Daleks. So the detail itself of the figure, while we have a two sort of coloured base, which is, eh, well, it's kind of accurate, and also isn't, it's very hard to tell whether it would be two colours. But as you can see, it's got a grey and then a glossy black. It certainly gives it an interesting look, whether it's a correct look, though. I don't know. Again, again, it's more of an up to you if you had a look at some of the images of Daleks from this story. The grey is spot on. It is that sort of gunmetal Genesis grey that's first seen in day, and they have nailed it completely here. And the black as well, with the gloss of the uh, hemispheres, again, looks really nice. No real problems with detail on the skirt half, no real paint bleeds either. As you can see it's all been nicely, nicely done, although under there. You can see there's been a bit of a problem. Nothing too bad though. Nothing unfixable for that. Well, it is unfixable, but you know, nothing noticeable. You wouldn't see it from um, a standing or display point of view. It's more of when you turn it over. But yeah, the paint itself has been very nicely applied. The mesh is, again, nicely done. You can't really mess the mesh up. It's literally the sculpt they had and literally just grey. And again, really nicely done. Uh, it's got in, uh, Some people I've, I've seen complain about how some of these are bent. Um, even if that's not part of the design, it gives it a more authentic look because, let's say, these weren't the, you know, the best built props on the planet. So some of them, you know, I mean, there are times you see Daleks in that story like this. You know, because it was the 70s and they didn't have a lot of money. So I think it just gives it gives them character. Although there is a bit of a chip there, which, again, a lot of them did have. But I'd prefer to have my, my whole Dalek for my money, please. But, you know, 
But yeah, it's got all the mesh detail on. I've got all this got screws on each panel. And again, it's somewhat thicker and thinner. Again, just all whether it's deliberate or not, it still gives it a really nice look and detail. The gun is correct, as they yeah, did have these guns by now. As you can see, it's got all the detail of the ring, the um, bit at the end, and it's not completely hollow in that side, uh, which really shouldn't be. I'd have always wanted them to do a Dalek because in the 70s, the way they shoot, they have that thing come out. I don't know what you'd call it, but I'm sure people who've seen the story know what I'm on about. I'd love to see them release a Dalek. I know they won't now, but with that out, it's sort of a, sh a, a shooting Dalek or with like an interchangeable one, so you could have the Dalek shooting or the Dalek not. Always been something I, I you know, thought, oh, that, that'd be nice if they did. They never have done, but there you go. With the circle thing here, which, again, you know, some of them look like they have it, some of them don't. So, again, it's up to debate, I'd say. Whether, uh, you, I think um, I, you'd have to have a good discussion with people to decide what is a planet Dalek and what is a day, da day of the Daleks Dalek, because they are sort of mished together. So, you know, what features would you... So it's, you'd have to do some sort of percentage or table, how many Daleks have this, and then you'd probably have to piece it all together. So yeah, the plunger has been nicely sculpted as well, grey, no real pla pla black paint bleeds at the end here, as you can see. All been relatively done nicely. The neck bins, again, have been done nicely, all nicely applied, no real paint bleeds again. The mesh of the inside, is, again, has been beautifully sculpted, and really does give for a nice effect. They all cross on the lines, and they all appear to be matching up pretty nicely. I have had some where it is clearly not matching up with the, these lines here, and it just doesn't look the best. Moving on to the dome, the head shape is, of course, always correct with the little rimmer there. With rimmer, not rimmer, rim. The eye stalk is correct as it has the five rings and this bit of silver. Again, it's sort of, you know, you're going to have to look at images because... Some from that story have it fully silver, some have it like this with uh, a bit of uh, the black here and the silver, and then some have that bit as grey. It's again, you know, very open to interpretation in my opinion. Some might say, you know, it's not as wide as I'm saying, and it, you know, it's either black or red. Like, here's a good image, like that one there. It's black and red, but you can see there's got a silver plunger, so you know, it's it's. It's hard, I'd say, to, to class what as a planet Dalek, but I think it's more of what have they not released, I think is more what they were going, going was going through their head. You know, we've never done one like this, because if you'd given it a silver one, it could have been seen as a Genesis Dalek then, I think. And, you know, I mean, I myself have no Genesis Daleks, but I know some people have quite a lot, because it's been, that Dalek's been released quite a few times. The lights of, of course, the improved ones with the extra, what would you call it? I'll, put, I'll call it sculpt, even though that's probably not the correct term, to give it uh, the more realistic feel. Um, now, if let's turn it on, let's listen to the sound effects. You are an enemy of the Daleks. Doesn't flash. I mean, I know it would cost a little bit more to do, but it would have made up for the sounds not being correct if you could have it flashing. Exterminate! Because for stuff, for stuff like animations, which I have had my fair share of attempting and doing tests of, and Dark Souls was quite fun to animate because... There's not much you can do, which means you can take your time with it a lot more. Like with an action figure, to make it look really realistic, you've got to make them try and look like they're running, and it just doesn't look very good. Whereas with a Dalek, you could literally only move it a tad, but then on, ca but then after you've done the animation, it looks like this, you know, very smooth motion. And if it had the lights, it would just, I don't know, it would give it a really nice look. But you know, there you go. Maximum power, fire. He has a number of phrases. Uh, if you double click though. That exterminates, but that sound is, of course, not accurate to the story whatsoever. Although it does have some phrases from the story. Exterminate! Didn't double. Daleks are the supreme beings in the universe. Seek, locate, exterminate. I believe that may have been from it. I obey. This one definitely is, I think. Emergency alert, alert. I know, I know for a fact this one is. So yeah, so it does have actually some sounds from Planet, but this is given into all the Daleks from the 70s and 80s. 
So yeah, so uh, technically I think this is the more accurate one out of the classic ones, but still not accurate at all because it's not the right voice, it's just a sound chip, no, it's on the sound clip. But there we are. So all in all, I think it's a rather interesting Dalek figure. It's not one particularly I think is, you know, sought after by everybody, but it's one I quite like. It was one of my originals, I guess. It was one of my earlier Daleks I got, and I've always quite liked it. It's a Pertwee Dalek as well. And it does fit in quite nice uh, if you had two with the uh, Supreme Leader. I'm not sure. I myself don't have the Supreme one because I'm not willing to pay 80 quid for three Daleks yet. But, you know, he looks quite good as well, let me see, with the gold Day of the Daleks Leader or Supreme. Uh, as, again, it pretty much is if it just had it silver. So it's, you know, it's all nice. And actually, just think about that photo I just showed. I think that might be from Day looking at it now. Yeah, I think it might be. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please um, <clears throat> hit the like button, as it'll do something. I don't know. Why do we say that? Why do Why do I say hit the like button? I don't get paid for doing this. It doesn't give me any ad revenue. <laughs> yeah, do what you want. Comment though. I'd like I like to hear people's comments and subscribe if you're new and you're interested in Doctor Who stuff. Cause um, I do quite a lot of it. And yeah, it's plenty to get your teeth stuck into in my channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.